Welcome to Data Quality Management, Module 11, Section 2. My name is Pat Cupoli. I'm the Certificate Mentor at Edmonds Community College, Pace at IT, Data Management Program. In Section 2, you will focus on describing the processes for performing data and information quality profiling, assessment, and audit. We will go over primary activities, areas of study, and primary takeaways. Primary activities as listed in the DAMA DMBOC include the following. Profile, analyze, and assess data quality. Define data quality metrics. Define data quality business rules. Test and validate data quality requirements. Set and evaluate data quality service level. Areas of studies where you should be able to answer the questions at the end of the section include the following. What is the purpose and process for data profiling? What are the methods for analyzing and assessing data quality? How should the data quality metrics be defined? What should be contained in data quality business rules? What are the testing and validation methods for data quality? How should service levels for data quality be defined? Primary takeaways include the following. Prior to defining data quality metrics, it is crucial to perform an assessment of the data using two different approaches, bottom-up and top-down. The bottom-up assessment of existing data quality issues involves inspection and evaluation of the data sets themselves. The top-down approach to data quality assessment involves engaging business users to document their business processes and the corresponding critical data dependencies. Data quality metrics development occurs as part of the strategy design plan step in order to implement the function in an organization. The process of instituting the measurement of conformance to specific business rules requires definitions. Data quality SLAs or service level agreements specify the organization's expectations for response and remediation. 